Jason Pitzer, Fire Captain, San Bernardino County Fire. My name is Terry Payton, and I am an engineer. Danny Carmichael, I'm a firefighter paramedic, and this is our story. Concert medic engine two, emergency traffic, emergency traffic. It was February 17th. We got a call for a traffic accident, but it was a, a semi truck that it went off the road. They reported heavy, heavy flooding. Turned my blinker on. I started merging, looked over my shoulder to the left. I hit the code three lights because I seen the truck. So as we're merging onto the freeway, I'm looking down at our computer screen, and as soon as I look up from the screen, that's when the, the road collapsed below us. We slid across, uh, I don't know, probably 20 feet of the freeway, kind of like skateboards, how they rail on curbs and stuff, that's what the engine did. I realized our lives were in danger when the engine came to a stop and I looked to the right and there was no road and I, all I saw was the, the, the rushing water. We're hanging over the side of the freeway, we're getting ready to go into the water below. The scary feeling, standing, you know, sitting there and they have an engine rock a little bit. Honestly, the first thing that came to my head is Danny's wife was eight months pregnant. I'm thinking, I gotta get the crew home, I gotta get them home safely. Kind of all like looked at each other and said, okay, well, who gets out first? Because we're teetering. If I get out, is it gonna offset the balance of the, the engine? So we, uh, Captain Pitzer was like, hey, Carmichael, you get out first. So I jumped out, and then Jason jumped out, uh, Captain Pitzer, and then uh, that's when Terry got out. Um, and if we went into that water in that fire engine? I may have had a 50% chance of survival, but Jason and Danny, there's this no I just had chills all over my body, and uh, I was just thinking about my family. We got to the hospital and one of our chiefs had come in and said the engine's, the engine's gone and went on the side. And there was probably a good minute of just silence. When they cut the compartment open, it was literally filled halfway with silt and dirt and there was still residual water in there. All the other equipment in there was done. When we opened the Pelican case, we were shocked. Uh, there was no water, there was no mud, everything was still in place. Every single med was intact. Nothing was broken. All the vials, nothing was broken. I, I was off. That's my tools. Yeah. That's my tools of the job. That's being a medic. So we were able to literally put this box on our reserve engine, right from that compartment to the new reserve engine. I definitely think Pelican um, protected the tools and the medications I need to get to do my job. Yeah.